Over the past month, I underwent about three different minimally invasive semi-surgeries and this is how they went. I don't know if I call it minimally invasive because I mean, look at my armpits. Good, and I can see this is the white area. So ever since I was a kid, I had these scars on my face. I had facial scars since I was probably like two years old. And when I grew up, I realized that I didn't really like the way these scars looked on my face. They really messed with my self-confidence. And then to add to everything, I started doing YouTube. I became a social media personality. And I noticed like every time I look in my camera, I can see my scars. So I was like, no way. I'm gonna get these removed and finally I pulled the plug, I did the research and I found out about laser scar resurfacing or CO2 laser resurfacing. So when I found this out, I was excited. I felt like this was the holy grail. It was gonna remove my scars, resurface my skin, regrow the collagen back in my face where the depressions are and then I finally found somewhere that did this procedure. So I found a place in Manhattan, and of course, Manhattan places come with Manhattan prices. So I ended up paying $1,300 for three sessions. Okay guys, I just got here, just got to my appointment, and right away she applied the numbing cream because I think it has to stay on for a little while. So the area has to be numbed, and I will let the doctor explain the rest from here. Uh, as soon as she comes back so I don't know I'm feeling a bit neutral about it because this is not the first time that I'm getting laser hair removal but it's a different a whole different beast so let's see how this goes and the doctor will explain to you what exactly it is that this process will do for me am I cute <laughs> if you find me someone we'll just So, <clears throat> it's loading right now, but the Profractional is a deep erbium laser. It basically reproduces collagen and the fibrin tissue that you've lost from getting the scar. That's what made it indented and um, just a little dip that you have there. So with this, it's going to make these tiny little pinholes all throughout the scar. There. Mm -hmm. The white dots are going to end up turning brown, then they're going to turn black, then they're going to slough off. I'm going to give you some aquaphor and some neosporin because okay. it's going to start to feel itchy and tight like you had a sunburn. Totally okay, totally normal. The next time or next few rounds you come back around, you're going to see that it's nicely raised and it's kind of welting up and it's going to start to stay that way until okay. it smooths out and becomes nice and taut like the rest of your skin. Okay. But that's it, super easy. I expected it to be worse than <laughs> that, guys. <laughs> I really did. So this is how it looks directly after um, I'm done. So I'm about to head home. I am finally done. I had an amazing first session with Dr. Mika and I'm actually looking forward to my next session. So in a month I'll be seeing her again and I'm super excited for my changes that will be coming. So at the end of these three sessions, I realized that I wasn't really happy with the results that I got. I had a lot of discoloration, which they kind of explained to me that I would have, but it didn't really make my skin come to the surface in the areas that were depressed. And I decided since I already started going down this road, I want to get this fixed. Let's do some more research. And I found a um, board certified plastic surgeon here in New Jersey. I've never had any type of surgery done before this and it was kind of nerve-wracking but I found a really great doctor and he really really made me very comfortable and the day of the procedure he was so nice and this is this is kind of how that part of this went so I just made it to the appointment look at this thing look at look at how deep it is guys did your phone just fall down yes it did <laughs> but anyways I just made it to this appointment and I feel like I'm going to doctor's appointment after doctor's appointment after doctor's appointment. Um, but hopefully when I get out of here in a few weeks or so, I won't see this as much as I do now because like, what is this? Why is it there? Georgia and Glenn, we need answers. But... <laughs> I'm about to go inside, see what they have set up for me. My everything is just dry. Just bear with me, guys. I can't moisturize anything. Um, I think they're gonna put me under anesthesia, and then we're gonna go to doing the procedure. It should take an hour and thirty minutes. So 
probably come up come out looking busted but Sima still loves me <laughs> So I have a few minutes before the procedure. I wouldn't say I'm feeling nervous or anything because I trust this doctor. He's a board certified plastic surgeon um, and I've seen his work. So I have a lot of faith that he will treat me the right way and do what he is, what exactly he's supposed to do. So I'm not nervous or anything. I'm just more waiting for the process to be over. It is time. This is it. I'm going in and coming out a new person. Are you ready for it? I am ready. Uh, I mostly just want the process to be done. I've never had a surgery before. I've never had anybody cut me open before, other than the other day when I had needles stuck in my armpits. But yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It, it will help me out mentally. Why not? You got the turn? Mm -hmm. You're not I am go. ready. Good, good, good. Okay, fantastic. So. The very first thing is to get together the plan as to what how you're going to do this. Mm -hmm. so. so I want you to raise your eyebrows. Good. And more make faces like this. Mm -hmm. I'm cool. always looking like. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> It's gonna blend in. It is rolling. Oh, look at that. It's rolling. Hey. It's rolling. <laughs> awesome. All right, guys. This is the physician that will be working on my face. I am excited. I know. But she is nervous. <laughs> Don't let that looks fool you. She's not calm. Uh uh uh. But that's okay. We gave her some meds. She's gonna be relaxed. We'll take excellent care of her. Let's do some marking to show you what happens when we mark. How do we mark? Where do we mark? Okay. So for her, the problem is it's right across. So we have to find her expression line to see where would it hide really well. So how about a little squint? Oh, it disappeared. Mm. So that's what we'll do. We'll follow her squint line right there. And this is wide. So once we make it a fine line, then it's going to look much better. That's what we're going to do. Let's get started. Let's go. Feeling back a little bit, you're comfy. I'm just cleaning a little bit. Clean, 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 clean. Sorry, I'm cleaning everything. It's okay. I appreciate it. Yeah, I just, you know, just to be extra careful about mm -hmm. any infection or anything. So, good. Now I'm going to start marking. Thank you. So the very first thing I have to do is define the boundary. So, I want you to now squint. So I can see the marking right there and right here. Those are the ends. Okay. Now you can relax. I need a bigger oh, one. Uh, uh, two. 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 Yeah. I think she found you on YouTube. I right? did, yeah. <laughs> oh, so let's make a video together then. <laughs> let's make a video and enter. And there we go. And then say wave bye, wave bye to him. So oh, it looks like, bye. It looks like, there you go. Now you You're go. the director too. Oh, yeah. Now you can just go lay down and relax. Good, okay. Right, yeah. Bye. Yeah. Love you. <laughs> another day, another medical procedure. Um, I really hope everybody's going to be okay. I know it's, obviously it's not like a mandatory procedure, right? Like she can live with the scar on the forehead, but she chose to do it for her own mental health and it's, it is going to be life changing for her because it's something that's really like, I don't know, really personal for her and something that she feels is completely unnecessary, which I agree with and I fully support her. So I hope that after surgery, everything looks great. Uh, the doctor, he's really nice. We've seen his work. We seen him actually I think he's been like on TV on some different shows before so um, we have a lot of faith in him that he can actually make it exactly how we want it to look and oh, how did you do? oh it was blood yeah it's the blood of Jesus how did it go? It's the blood of Jesus. How did it go? 
It was quick. It wasn't painful. It was numbed, so I didn't feel anything. Mm -hmm. And he is awesome. So oh, it see. went well. I see blood on my side, it doesn't look good. I mean, uh, my face is swollen again, like my armpit. Oh my I god. I have to keep this dry for a week. Dry? Yeah. <laughs> you bathe in the tub and in the sink. I feel delirious. They give you an air? Just to look at it. Mm -hmm. See what it looks like. Oh man. Yeah. How do you feel? Awesome. How do you feel? Scared. <laughs> Why are you scared? I don't know. Anyway, um, we'll pick it up outside, I guess, right? Yeah. Give me your hand. I guess this is harder than it looks, but I'm officially her caretaker now. <sighs> well, you used to tape, put tape on your forehead, and now you actually have real tape on there. How far we've come. Right. Anyway, hold on. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Was it worth it? <laughs> hmm? I can't answer that yet. <laughs> All right. no, I'm holding your hand. The doctor told me to hold you down. Ow, and that's, ex that? that's exactly what I'm doing. It's the buckle. Wait, when we sit in the car. When we sit in the car. Uh, okay. All right? I feel drunk. I know, Vinny. It's okay. How does anyone think that feeling like this feels good? Like, I never want to be high. <laughs> never. Is it you're medically high, not everybody high? Oh, I'm being tea. So we gotta get the. Oh my god, you still have enough energy to get the right lighting in there? <laughs> You're sick. Yeah, the car is right there, right? How, is, how are your legs holding up? They're barely going, so. Okay, okay. I'll I've never felt like this before. Like, never. A big step. I'm All still right. in control. Alright. You're still in control? In my body, yes. Yeah. Hold on, it's locked. Alright, bust it open. You guys are coming so far. Hmm? <laughs> are you good? Because what the hell just happened? <laughs> Abini, put your head up. Sit, sit in the seat straight. Move your butt. Alright. I don't know how this is gonna go, guys, because this is not looking good, but... Alright hey guys, so, I just put her in bed. Um, I am not sure how this is gonna go, but it's definitely really tough for her. Also, sorry, I have um, Invisalign in, so I'm still getting used to the way I like to talk. So if I'm like a little lispy, that's what I'm doing. But anyway, she uh, maybe is kind of like off, feeling drowsy, feeling woozy, feeling high, feeling a whole bunch of like discomfort because they put her on a whole bunch of meds to make her more comfortable for the procedure, but now it's the recovery process. So hopefully it wears off. Well, not, hopefully the pain doesn't come, but hopefully the drowsiness and just the discomfort wears off kind of quickly and then we can kind of move on to the next step of like healing so the whole thing should take a few weeks to to do like the first healing step and then eventually we can move in uh, to do like secondary healing so we have an appointment in two weeks for a follow-up make sure everything is looking good the stitches are good that everything is healing I knew there was one more thing that I had to fix before moving on and that was my armpits. So if you follow this channel for a very long time, you know that I had an issue with sweating, excessive sweating that is known as hyperhidrosis. So hyperhidrosis just happens when your body produces too much sweat, like you sweat more than the average person. And I was kind of tired of doing that. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna fix this issue as well. So I've tried many things to actually fix this issue. I changed my diet, I tried to exercise so I would sweat more on in times when I should be sweating and I still exercise a lot. Um, I also went to the doctors, they tried to use Botox on me for sweating which is a very common thing that is done. Botox usually lasts three months and then you have to get re-injected with the Botox again to prevent the sweating again. I did that, it lasted one month for me because my body said no 
and I decided Botox is just not for me. So I tried to do the pill route. They gave me glycopyrrolate pills and that just made me extremely thirsty and I was like, yeah, no, I can't do that anymore. I tried to use Cubrexa, which is like, I think it's glycopyrrolate in the form of like um, wipes. So you can wipe this on any area of your body that really sweats. That also made me very thirsty and didn't last for very long. So I decided I need something that is temporary, not temporary, I need something that is permanent, which is when I found out about Mirror Dry after doing my research. I actually knew about Mirror Dry for a while before I decided to do it because I just thought it was too expensive. But then I was like, you know what? I'm either gonna sweat to death and ruin all my clothes. Like I have designated armpit shirts because I would sweat so much. So either sweat to death, ruin all my clothes, or just get this procedure. And $1,950 later, I got Mirror Dry, and this is how that went. You know, all of our afternoon patients I feel, are always I feel bad for you. You have to do her underarms. This is my job. <laughs> <laughs> How could you say that? Alright guys, real well, so. <laughs> after this point, there's no turning back. I'll come out sweat free. <laughs> Alright, just text me, right? When yep. you're ready? Here. Right. Wait, you have, to give me, you have to give me some hug. You want a hug? Yeah. <laughs> I need oh, a hug. <laughs> you got this, right? Don't okay. be scared, alright? Here, you got take this. my jacket. Mm -hmm. You can give me I'll a wallet. Yeah, I don't need this. Alright guys, so I just put Avery in the doctor's office everything is good she's in good moods but um i know there's a little bit of nerves because like it's obviously gonna be like a kind of irritating procedure because it's gonna be in her armpits and the whole point of it is to make sure that her sweat is more under control because right now it's just not it and it's really bothering the way um her life is going <laughs> like she has to change her shirts all the time she's gets stressed out and she starts sweating then she gets stressed out about sweating and then more sweat comes and it's like a vicious cycle of discomfort so this procedure we've actually discussed it probably for like the last three or four years that it's finally time to get it done because it's a major quality of life issue um and especially if we're going to be more on the road more traveling it needs to be fixed and we found a solution and this is a way that it can it can get done who is this i feel botched Oh, vintage. How did it go? It went well. It was uh, a little painful at first because there was a lot of injections happening. Mm -hmm. And then after that, it was just like a suction procedure and it was pretty quick. And the nurse was amazing. She's so nice. The lady that was weighing you? Yeah, yeah she's, she's, really nice. she's the sweetest person I've ever met. Yeah. Aww. And she made the process even better. So that's good. Yeah. But, I feel a bit dizzy. My arms feel tingly. You want to sit down? My arms are numb. My armpits are swollen. Oof. <laughs> so I feel a little drunk. I'll, I'll be back. Okay. What did you say? I want like Chick Fil A. Did you Did you earn it? I deserve it. You deserve Chick Fil A. I just got like a thousand injections into my armpit, so I deserve Chick Fil A. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. We'll try to find you one there. I feel like I'm shaky. Yeah. <laughs> and it wasn't any, like, it was just lidocaine and saline. So, okay. I don't know why I feel like this. <laughs> I feel like I'm, like, dizzy a little. So, it is a few hours after this procedure took place, and I don't know if I'd call it minimally invasive because, I mean, look at my armpits. They're literally swollen, um, but they did tell me to expect that. So there's going to be swelling because they injected me like about 20 times in one armpit, maybe 30 with uh, saline, which is like IV fluid and also lidocaine, which is a numbing agent or an anesthetic. But um, I don't feel dizzy, I don't feel like I'm in pain, I don't feel um, off or anything. I just know like when I put my arms down like this, I just feel like I'm in the military. Like I have shoulder pads underneath my armpit. Um, but the swelling is supposed to um, go down within a few days or it'll last for a week or so but I have to keep on icing the area. So every 15 minutes I have to ice the area and also I have to take um, painkillers and um, 
thanks to reduce the swelling. But yeah, this, this ain't it, bro. I can't go outside looking like this. I can't work out for five days. It's just like, it's a lot. But I feel like it's gonna be for the greater good. It will reduce my sweating and odor by about 82%. And even when I was on the doctor's table doing the procedure, he couldn't believe that I was sweating that much. He was like, wow, she's she's really a sweater. Like, I'm like, well, and the nurse was like, well, that's why she's here. So like, I sweat so much that it ran down onto like the piece of paper that they put on the, the bed and it kind of like ripped the paper. That's how much I was sweating. So now here we are, $5,750 later, and I got all the procedures that I wanted to get done. And at the end, I, would I say it's worth spending all that money? Totally yes, because now I don't really sweat as much as I would. I haven't had any compensatory sweating, which means sweating in other areas, since I had the procedure. But let me tell you, this procedure was not an easy procedure, which is why I think it's minimally invasive. So when you get to the office, they will first numb you up with numbing, with lidocaine and also a lot of saline in the area. So I had like about, I wanna say 300 um, injections into my armpit with lidocaine and also with saline. When I was done, my armpits were swollen to the gods. And that was the most painful part of the process. Then the second step, they let you sit for about 30 minutes or lay for about 30 minutes while the numbing agents take course and they check if you are actually numb and by doing sensitivity tests with you. After that, they start this suction system, which is the Mirajai process, literally sucking out or killing those sweat and odor glands. And then after that, you are basically done. Your armpits will be bleeding a little bit, but you won't be sweating as much. For the first two days, I did not sweat at all, but for, to know the real results of the procedure, they told me that I had to wait at least three months. And since I've done the procedure, my sweating has significantly reduced. So, $5,750 later for all these procedures that I've done, what is my consensus? I think that it was definitely worth it for me because it was things that were resting on my mind and also affected my self-confidence and it affected the way how I lived my life. Like for example, the sweating for me was a quality of life issue that like I couldn't keep on going that way. Um, regarding the facial scars, I didn't really have to do that, right? People learn to live with the situations that they're handed, um, but I just didn't like the fact that they were there. So I took care of them and would I do it again? I probably would. Uh, but anyways, comment down below. Let me know what you think of all these procedures. Let me know if you think I'm crazy for doing them or let me know that if, you, let me know if you were in my shoe, would you do the same thing? Anyways guys, nice chatting and talk to you later.